Hey guys, in this video, you'll see how I have set up my studio and how you could use some parts of it yourself. So let's get started. First of all, I want to let you know that I didn't build this setup overnight. I bought things over a year's time and only when I got some good deals on it. So this was how my setup looked like a year ago and this is how my setup looks like today. The previous one worked as well, however I kept adding more things to it to make it better and a bit more easier for me. For all the items that I show you in this video today, I'll add the links to buy them online in the description below. So let's see what all do I have in my current setup. I use a Surface Pro 5 as my main device. Uh, some people refer to it as the Surface Pro 2017 or the 5th generation, but yeah, it was the one before Surface Pro 6. This one has 8GB RAM and 256GB of hard disk space. And I actually bought it used from the Facebook marketplace more than a year ago for $550 only. And within a month of buying it, I actually had an issue with the display port. And when I took it to Microsoft store, I got a replacement because it was still in warranty for two more days. So lucky me. Um, Microsoft recently announced the Surface Pro 7. However, I would recommend you to wait till Black Friday and buy the Surface Pro 6, which I can assure you will have really good deals. And it's probably not a lot of different um, from the Surface Pro 7. The next thing that I had to then buy was the Surface Dock, as I wanted to use two displays and Surface Dock seemed like the only option. Again, I didn't want to pay a bunch load of money for it. So I went ahead and bought a used one for $60 and um, again from the Facebook marketplace. I also had to buy two mini display port to display port cables to connect the dock to my monitors. So talking about monitors, I have two 22 inch Dell monitors. One of them is a bit older than the other one. Um, and the latest one is the P2217H and it's available on bhpphotovideo.com for $139. The good thing about this monitor is that it doesn't have much glare as I believe this monitor was made more for an office setup and it kind of works great for me. The resolution is 1080p which is enough for my usage and uh, you can connect to this monitor using DisplayPort, HDMI or VGA. Now let's talk about my audio and video setup. I have a blue Yeti mic which I bought from Staples during Black Friday sale last year for $89 only. And I also had a $30 off coupon, which brought the price down to just $59, which is a steal, seriously. It's one of the best mics available at that price point, And I would highly recommend it to anyone who's starting new. Also, I recently bought a mic stand to reduce all the typing noise and any vibration noise. Um, the stand was available on Amazon for $20 and it came along with pop filter as well. For recording videos, I use a Logitech C920 web camera, which again, I bought from Facebook Marketplace for $20 only. It records video at 1080p, which is good enough for my usage again. However, I'm thinking about probably using my iPhone um, as it can record 4K at 60 frames per second. I'll see how it works out and uh, I'll, I'll share once I have some videos on it. To have some good lighting in my videos, I was recently looking at some professional lighting setup, but again, that was too expensive. So I searched for some DIY setup and came across this video from this YouTuber, Daniel Schiffer, where he talked about building a cake pan light for $40 only. I already had a cake pan, which we hardly use. So I was willing to sacrifice it. And I only had to buy a LED strip from Amazon, which was only $13. And it also came along with a dimmer switch so I could adjust the lighting. And right now I have just placed it on a tripod stand, unless I figure out a better way to mount it. 
And if you want to learn how to build it yourself, have a look at the video from Daniel Schiffer. Um, here is what it looks like with and without the lights. Pretty good, right? At least good enough for my usage. All the setup will be incomplete without a desk to hold it all together. So uh, I bought my standing desk from Ikea. It's called Skarsta, S-K-R-S-T-A. And it's available for 249 bucks. It can be manually cranked up and down and I was fine with that. Um, I didn't want to use it continuously at a higher or a lower level. I switch only on few days when I really don't want to stand. Some other small accessories that I use in my setup is a, a Logitech wireless mouse and a Dell wired keyboard. Nothing fancy about it, just something that I bought at a good deal uh, during Black Friday sale. I do use some cable sleeves to keep my wiring setup clean. The cable sleeve is available on Amazon for $12 and uh, you can cut it and um, kind of to your length, whatever you're using in your setup and uh, it works pretty well. So that's all that I have today in my setup and I don't intend to add anything more in the next few months or even a year I would say as all of this meets my requirements and I can make videos from this. The only thing left is to make more videos. So hope this video helps you get started on your content creation journey. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.